The Norwegian-Estonian Research Cooperation Programme has been developing close cooperation between universities of the two countries. One of the main purposes of this programme is to encourage and promote communication between scientists from Estonian and Norwegian universities in their specialist scientific fields. Between 2013 and 2017, scientists have participated in 13 projects. Here we would like to point out five of them. We have extremely similar problems in our forest and in our cottons. People are very keen to, to know what has happened with the trees. Thus we have a three main uh, focus in our project to analyze uh, a new invasive species pathway to our countries. Secondly, to develop new molecular markers and how they, how they work and how we can detect a new species. And third one was to analyze biodiversity on the trees. The project was supported by Estonian Norwegian Cooperation Program. Uh, this was cooperation between Estonian University of Life Sciences and uh, Norwegian side was in EBO, uh, Research Institute. The project was very important for us to support the high level of science in forest pathology. Empirically, we are studying uh, integration of Russian migrants in Norway and uh, in Estonia. Our project was based on acculturation model of John Berry and we expanded it by a field theoretical model of Pierre Bourdieu. The main result of the project is that integration context has enormous impact on uh, adaptation of migrants both in Norway and Estonia and there are substantial differences. Uh, thanks to this project we had an opportunity to meet and to do some field work already in Norway at the preparation of the project, so it influenced both understanding of the issue, uh, some of the research questions uh, which we applied to Norway, and also uh, it helped us to work much more closely in uh, designing the questionnaire, in designing the empirical questions and uh, the qualitative part of research. The title of our project uh, is uh, Regulation, Activity Dependent Regulation of BDNF and ARC, Genes Important in Synoptic Plasticity. Synoptic plasticity means that uh, synopsis or the connections of neurons in our brain are uh, changing in time, newer forms and older are lost and these two genes are very important in the regulation of this process. The Norwegian-Estonian research cooperation program has been very important uh, for successful uh, carrying on of the project because our partner from Bergen University is uh, Professor Bramham Lab and Professor Bramham has complementary expertise as compared with us. We have expertise in molecular biology and cell biology and Professor Bramham Lab has expertise in animal models and uh, electrophysiology, how neurons are regulated by electrical activity. Our project mainly deals with uh, mathematical methods for reliable communication. So reliable communication in uh, wireless channels, in uh, wired computer systems in uh, storage of information on the storage medium like hard disk or flash memory devices. So we found a few new algorithms which work uh, very well for specific types of uh, noise of disturbance in the channel. We also were able to come up with some new theoretical uh, bounds or limits on the possible performance of such systems. 
The Norwegian-Estonian uh, cooperation program has helped us uh, in many ways. In particular, they provided uh, funding and support to our PhD students. Sometimes we use their expertise to help on the problems that we currently work on and in the other way around. And uh, in general, I would say that was very helpful support from, from the, this joint program. Well, I conducted the research uh, in the framework of the project Animals in Changing Environments, uh, Cultural Mediation and Semiotic Analysis. And uh, I uh, was specifically investigating the sinews of guide dogs and their visually impaired handlers. Uh, so I found out that the cooperation of a guide dog and uh, his or her handler depends most on how do they manage to adapt to each other's meanings and uh, sinews, and also uh, to the expectations which uh, are built into the urban environment concerning the use of signs. Norwegian Estonian Cooperation Fund, uh, first of all, um, it, it helped me to focus uh, on my work, to uh, conduct my field work, to involve uh, handlers and uh, dogs from different countries, uh, and also uh, it gave a good chance to communicate with my Norwegian colleagues who organized several uh, seminars and conferences uh, related to the topic of human-animal uh, interactions. Uh, research cooperation is a very important priority to Norway. That's why we have had a, a program with Estonia since uh, 2006. We are very encouraged by the high number of uh, good quality applications, 170 in all. Also uh, covering a wide variety of activities, from uh, brain uh, research to cancer research, legislative research, as well as integration efforts. Uh, we hope that this will be a, a good basis for future cooperation uh, between uh, individual researchers, between institutions, universities and commercial enterprises. Mm -hmm.